Hey, Tech Fan Productions here. This video is an update to the last Wink Relay video. This gives you some tips and tricks and things that I've come across while setting it up. Some of the things that I've come across is that factory reset, you can bring it back to the factory settings as it came out of the box, but you don't want to keep doing it over and over and over. You want to kind of limit that because there is a chance of breaking the device. Also, uh, you need to enable the developer mode. I'll show that a little later in this video. Uh, you also want to, if you're going to root it, you're going to want to use a program called Kingroot and root package disable. That's the easiest way to do it. There are some other ways, but this one's the easiest. You have to run a program called ABD Connect that is, allows you to log into the controller. Uh, if you're using SmartThings, you have to also make some other changes because it's going to log you out after an hour. Uh, if you want to remove Wink, you have to add a, you can add a modded version so you can use the sensor and buttons. Nova Launch is something that some folks have said are pretty good. Uh, you want to be careful not to brick by rooting, but I give some tips how to get back out of that uh, using a serial connection. And then you can also use VNC Viewer to remote view the screen. So here's one of the things if uh, a lot of folks have asked, well, how do I get back into the menu to factory restore it? Well, here you go. It's very easy to do. Just follow these steps and you can restart. So rooting the Wink Relay. This is something you really want to do. This is mostly for the smart things, folks. That's something they're going to want to be more interested in. I think if you're actually using it as a Wink Relay device, you don't need to root it. But here's how to do it. One of the big things to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to go into About Tablet and you want to click on that build number seven times. Now in this video I've already done it, so I can't undo it. So I'm just going to show you, you're going to click it and then you're going to go into, you'll see developer options pop up and then you'll see that you need to click on USB debugging. That's how you enable it. So if you go to any Linux desktop where you can load the drivers on Windows or whatnot, but you're looking for ADB connect and you want to type that in as you see here and 555 at the end and you'll see that it says connected and then you want to do a DVD shell and then you can just do an LS to show the files in there or you could do run other commands. I'll put that at the end so what some of the commands are. So if you're in, if you're, if you're going to root it, you're going to want to go into the APK pure and just type in king and then you'll see king root. Go ahead and select king root, install it, let it run. It's going to reboot a few times and if all successful, you'll be rooted. This is important for folks that, mostly for the smart things folks, or folks that are having trouble getting the Play Store to work. If you root it, it'll definitely work on the latest versions. It has to do with permissions, why it's not working. So it's an option to do that if you want, but again, King Root can brick it, but most folks have had success, only if you have. And if you do want it bricking it, you'll need to get a serial connector, you'll need to, to connect it to the back, and then you'll need to run some commands in order to uh, restore it from the edison.zip. Uh, if you hear some tips on, and this is on the web, you can search it out. I'll put the links to it, but you can disable updates and saving third-party passwords. This is the steps to run that. Again, you'll need to do the stuff prior that I show how to get into it. So to get the Google Play service to work without rooting it, a user commented that they loaded these following versions and it worked for them. I had a lot of things going on my particular Wink Relay and this didn't work for me, but I'll give it a try again after I factory reset it. As you can see here, I have the different desktops. You can select Nova Launcher, you can select Total Launcher, you can use the Google Now Launcher, or you can pick which one you want depending if you want to change it around. Just click the just once. If you want it to stick, just click always. If you, I've been using Total Launcher. Total Launcher's been working with applications like Spotify, Sonos, Amazon Music. In fact, all the launchers really been working with the applications. I haven't found anything or really any real issues. Uh, you know, some of the things that you might want to do is like I don't particularly care for the screen, the proximity sensor, uh, and or to tap and turn on. I want to stay on it all the time. Uh, I found that if you go into the applications and shut down the Wink Relay app, if you're not really using the buttons or the Wink Relay app. From the controller you can just go ahead and, and if you three or four times just force it to stop it might come back up just keep it a few times that it'll stop uh, from loading back up again you, that's something if you want to do you don't have to it's just an option I picked something that I found I do like my screen to say on all the time so that's why I went ahead and did this if you reboot the unit you're gonna have to basically do this over by just forcing it to stop that's what it does another thing you might find that if your desktop 
uh, if you load a lot of applications on the Orion space, uh, it's not that much space on it. So what you can do is start deleting stuff and go from there. So again, these are just tips and tricks, things that I found. So if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you can, subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.